Welcome back to the Paddle and Fin Podcast Network. We're brought to you by Yak Gadget. For all your kayak fishing accessory needs, go to yakgadget.com. Pelican cases, coolers, and lighting. Go to pelican.com. The 153 Bait Company. For all your hard and soft bait needs, go to the 153anglers.com. Now let's get this show started. All right, everyone. Welcome back to the Mindset Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Slifka. Uh, today I have my special guest, Frank, from Slay Nation. How are you doing today? Woo! What up, Chris? Happy New Year. We're good, man. How are you? Happy New Year, man. Happy doing New Year. great. Doing great. Um, I want to apologize to everyone who listens to this. Uh, I have a little bit of a cough, so you might hear that throughout the podcast. But uh, just want to address that right now real quick. And then uh, how has everything been? I've seen you, you've been busy over these past couple months. Yeah, man, we have been busy. I mean, you know, just Slay Nation busy, you know, but busy, you know how it is, life, man. Yep. We got kids, work, all that. You know, I was fortunate. I had winter break. I'm a school teacher, so I, I work at a private school. We had two weeks. So that was good to have some time to to uh, dedicate for Slay Nation the beginning of this season because we, we crack off in uh, February 4th with our Florida, one of our Florida trails. So, uh, yeah, man, we're in full, full gear right now. Yep. And then what are, so you, you started it or you're part of the, the, I know we talked about this last time. So if you just give me a refresher real quick and the audience a refresher, cause it's been about six months yeah. since you last been on. Yeah. Refresher of Slay Nation. Slay Nation and just everything that you do with it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm the founder and, and uh, owner, whatever the hell you want to call it, uh, of Slay Nation Tournament Fishing. And, uh, you know, we started in 2019. That was our first season. And uh, we're heading into our uh, fourth season this year, uh, 2022. And we have we offer, we're a tournament organization. We offer opportunities to the everyday angler, whether you're a kayak series angler, you want to fish our small vessel series, which is electric only, John boat, canoe, kayak. Um, you, we have a new series called our HP series, which is a horsepower series. So it's, it's below the fiberglass glitter boats, uh, above the smaller John boats. And it hits that middle niche of, um, you know, 75 horsepower and lower. Um, then we offer two online series, a lady slayers only online series and a next generation, uh, online series, which is a youth series, eight to 14 year olds. So, uh, that's a little, uh, back history of uh, who we are. Yep. I mean, it's, it's grown a lot. I know that for sure. Uh-oh. Did we lose you? Move. Uh-oh. Let's see if we could get him back in here. Work on this here. All right, got you back. Hey, what's yeah. going on? I don't know. That was weird. I got full bar. Yeah. Uh, so that was weird. I, I just, swear to yeah. God, every time, every time I do a podcast, <laughs> I all oh, there's always something. Like either I drop a light, I. Uh, I have a kid that won't go to bed. Uh, you know, Armando's, I didn't have, you know. So put it this way. If you listen to Bass Kayak and Beers and the interview with Armando, uh, StreamYard, I was trying to use my phone. StreamYard doesn't work on my phone. So he's talking to basically a black screen. Uh, after that episode, I went out and got the new laptop. So <laughs> <laughs> it's always something, man. So yeah. anyway, can we? the show goes on. Yeah. I was just saying, you know, it's it's definitely grown in just a few months of I'm, of me knowing about it. I seen it's it's all that people talk about. It's what I see all the time on Instagram now. People posting about the tournaments. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Congrats, yeah. man! Congrats. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. The kayak series has really taken off because last mm-hmm. year was the first 
the first year we were offered a kayak only series, right? And we partner with KBF, so all of our anglers get to, uh, you know, qualify for their NC. And last year, one of our Texas Slay Nation members, Christian Cooper, finished in 11th in the national championship. And he uh, that was his first day we're fishing a multi-day event. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah, it's nice freaking thing. awesome. So uh, I believe last time we kind of talked about the mindset and how to just stay positive. Um, this time I kind of want to talk – I mean, you – but you've been busy with this, the mindset of, you know, running this, well, it's kind of like turning into an organization type of deal now. Um, how is that juggling your teaching job and juggling this? How does that work into everything and just having the energy and mindset for it? Yeah, it's all time management, right? It's just like being a parent. How do you juggle, you know, uh, kids, wife, work, you know, your passion, your hobbies, it's all time management. So, um, you know, it's allocate, allocating time for, um, you know, your side hustle or your passion or your hobby, or whatever you're trying to build, whether you're a podcaster or a tournament director, you just want to build cars in your garage. Um, it's basically, you know, the energy is just intrinsic. I just have been blessed with energy. I don't know. It's just, I think it came, you know, it comes from my parents. They're just always upbeat. I never see them like, you know, uh, my mom or my dad, like I never see them tired, never in a bad mood, you know, um, it's just always upbeat. So that's where I get that. But then again, it's just, you know, with Slay Nation, like it's, it's a lot of that works at night after I family time, put the kids down, it's make a cup of outdoors and coffee and uh, it's getting a laptop and it's updating and it's hitting directors. It's doing zoom meetings. It's, that's when I do the sponsors and email mm-hmm. and talk to sponsors and all that. So it's, you know, and then throughout my school day, I have, I have like certain breaks throughout the day where I'm not teaching. I'm in my office. All right. I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, trying to take advantage of that downtime. Um, of course, after I get my, you know, full-time work done when I'm doing reports and all that, but um, it's any time that you have available to take care of something is when you have to take advantage. And, um, you know, it, it, it's just a lot of work. It is, but I'm so I'm passionate about. It. I actually love it. You know, and yeah. the, the best saying is, you know, if you're if you're passionate about it, it never feels like work, and it, it doesn't. You know, it's it's, it's fun. I, I enjoy it. Yeah, is this something that you're looking to pursue as a career, or just something to keep as a hobby? Oh hell yeah, man! If I could do this full time, I mean that's a dream. Anybody in the fishing industry, you know, that wants to, whether you're a podcaster, you're a lure maker, you want to do it full time, right? Yeah. Because uh, you know, depending on what it is, but I would love to turn this into something that we can, um, you know, one, I can, I can concentrate on full time. That'd be phenomenal, but also have like, you know, some of my, uh, you know, wingmen give them positions and, and offer different positions and, and, uh, and, and to build into a, like bass, you know, like, yeah, bass. like that's an organization that, that is a business. Um, and it yeah, operates right. as a business too. You could tell it operates as a business versus. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, that we know. But the, the, and that's the thing. I would not want to lose the grassroots and taking care of our slayers if this were to become something bigger, right? I always yeah. want to make sure we keep uh, the foundation of it all at the forefront. So, yeah, yeah. So, what are if someone's trying to build something up? Because this is a great segue into this actually it's not something i thought we were going to talk about tonight but something that we can hit up yeah. if someone's trying to build something from the ground up how where should you start whether it be tournaments and what you're doing or someone who yep. Yep. or someone who's doing <laughs> something else where yeah. where do you start and how do you keep going I would say you find a passion right don't just start something because it's cool or you want to hop on a fad like you know you, you you know, the reason I got into tournament uh, directing was because I fished tournaments as a non-boater, right, in the ABA. And then, um, you know, and I was, you know, a lot of things I was like, oh, you know what? If I was a tournament director, I would try this or I would do this. And then I was fishing in a canoe and there wasn't much tournament offerings for anybody and, you know, something like that. And, uh, you know, and I just, and I started directing for the Force Lane Nation and I fell in love with directing. I love people i love being around people and having a good time i love laughing and joking and i love fishing and um you know it's like find a passion whatever you're passionate about try to find your own niche or try to create your own brand that's the biggest thing is how do you create your own brand because 
you know, that's important. If you, if you are, you know, if you own something, you're I'm not saying you have to be the face of it, but it's your baby, right? You, you should want to be the face of it, yeah. um, you know, cause you, you started something and you want to, you know, take it, you, know, you have a vision and that you hope people ride with and agree to. And yes, it's good to take feedback and adjust and, and pivot when need be. But, you know, you got to think about what you want to offer. Does it fit a, does it fill a void somewhere? Right. Does it fill a void? Like our small vessel series fills a void for people that don't want to get in high cost events, have, you know, inexpensive vessels, what's out there for them, right. To be a part of. So that's, that's where we hit a niche. And so it's, you know, and write this all down, write it down, envision it. Like if, you know, everybody hears like the vision, right? Like what is vision? A vision isn't your eyesight. It's, it's a dream. It's something that you can, you, you think about it so much, it becomes tangible, right? Like I always thought I always, and this is like not to go in a rabbit hole, but you know, for the longest time, and this might sound cheesy to people, uh, but whatever, this is my vision. I'd always drive. I never owned a boat, right? Or a trailer or anything like that, even like a small jumbo. And I would always envision, I swear to God, I would look at my rear view mirror driving to work and envision myself towing a, a boat in my back. Right, through the back and uh and then whatever like two years ago i finally got a trailer i got the jumbo the building and then you know i just remember looking through that river mirror and being like you know that vision came true so you if you're going to start anything new you expect a lot of work expect a lot of failure if you if you're if you fail once and you're done then that dream is not for you that wasn't the right vision right you gotta you know you gotta keep pushing forward and everybody knows the, the famous rocky balboa saying it's not how many hits you could take it's how many hits you could take and keep getting up and moving yeah. forward and so if you're going to start <laughs> anything new i don't care if it's crocheting or you know you're freaking you know you got the cricket out and you're making decals for somebody there's always going to be a challenge or a bump in the road but you got to move forward and you can't cry and be a baby about it right i don't like when i coach basketball it's the first thing i say to the kids is there's no crying and there's no whining you you dust it off you get up and try harder the next time um and that's what it is with something new you have to have patience um, and, uh, have a vision, take feedback, but also kind of be aware what's in the industry. Like, don't just think, oh, I'm going to create this new shoe, but you know nothing about shoes. It's not going to work like that. You got to kind of do your homework too. You got to dig in and, and really be a part of the culture. Yeah, I agree with that. Totally. It's, it's great to hear from someone who hasn't like fully made it yet. Who's still in the grind of things. Yeah. You know, versus, you know, sometimes you look somebody up and they're already either they're rich or they're famous or they hit their goals. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, yeah. and yeah, we're far from and that. It's, and, yeah. <laughs> and it, it's easy to say it then. And then, you know, people use the excuse, oh, well, of course they're saying that they got everything, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Versus... That's like, that's, I posted last week, I posted, I don't know if you saw it, but I posted, uh, you know, I love it was a lime green like Ram truck all souped up. And I put a I cam. I was on Canva and I put a Slay Nation logo on it. And it was just like, hey, you know, with like hearts and saying, hey, a Slayer, a Slayer can dream. And people thought that was actually my truck. They're like, dude, wow. <laughs> people are like, whoa, look at this guy. And I'm like, no, did you read the post? <laughs> That's not mine. That's what I wish I had. Yeah. Um, you know, but it's it's. Listen, I'm at, like, I ain't got any of that stuff. I'm in my, I'm in the, literally my laptop is sitting on my dryer right now. I'm in the, in the yeah. thing, in, where my oil tank is right here. Ain't nothing famous, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it takes a lot, a lot of hard work, man. It, like you said, you got to just keep pushing through. And I know I learned that this past year, just, you know, fishing yeah. and just sticking to it and sticking to the goals, you know, yeah. um, as to where I just I sat with my goals, and I talked about this, where, you know, my goal was to be Angler of the Year and make every single tournament this year, and I did that. But I didn't, I didn't hit Angler of the Year. I got second place, though. Okay. But I stuck with it <coughs> instead mm -hmm. of giving up after the first or second tournament. Yeah. You know? And that's what the – and, you know, and it's kind of like not to say it in a bad way, but it's kind of – good that you finish second because that's going to keep you hungry like you haven't hit oh, that. Yeah. you haven't hit that pinnacle yet for aoi yet in your yeah. club uh so it's but you but you're getting there right you're doing the you're winning the mini battles which is you made every tournament right and even on the tough ones you came back for the next one and your your mindset was like hey i'm not going to give up i'm going to adjust and i'm going to come in stronger for the next one right and that's yeah. the cool thing about fishing is every single time you go out you're gonna you're you learn 
And you're going to be that you're going to be one percent better for the next time you go out because you're you know if you learn and adjust from your previous time on the water. Yeah, definitely. And I the I like it more this time because I branched out this year versus fishing local lakes and local tournaments that I knew. Yeah, I was still able to perform, and that that was that was a big goal for me to go to places I've never been to before. And see, you know, with research and everything, where I place myself at. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Good for you, man. Yeah, <coughs> yeah I just got to gotta get over this call. That's yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, when I was talking to Armando, you heard me cough on that because my son and I, we had COVID then. And uh, I had like a little tickle. And every time I would like breathe in, I would cough. Yep. <laughs> That's... That's kind of what's happening now here. Yeah, I yeah. mean, we, we we tested negative, but yeah, it's still still got somewhat of a cold. It's, it's freaking eight degrees here. On the, you know, that's the high. <laughs> no, yeah, it, it was twelve in Connecticut today, and I am I, as I've lived in the Northeast my whole life, and I have never been used to the cold. I I cannot stand the cold. I never liked it. So this beard is not <laughs> to keep me warm. I just like the look. <laughs> I <hate> the cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So through like through through your journey, what are some things that you had to learn? Like some fail some things that you failed at at that time, but now look back and they are happy it happened. Um yeah, I guess one, it's um, <laughs> you know. It's really, it's, uh, you know, you take yourself out of the equation, no matter what you do, right? And I, I've learned that when you put others forward uh, or before yourself, put their needs ahead of you anyway, um, it's going to, um, it makes you, one, better as a person, but two, better at what you're trying to do. Uh, like for Slay Nation, you know, the whole motto was to put our members first, right? They're paying a membership fee. What is that going towards, Right. <laughs> I mean, we have a great benefits package. I think we have a really good one. When you pay a membership fee with us, I mean, you're getting you're getting a lot back for your money, uh, but you're also supporting the life of Slay Nation with insurance and banners and prize packs and mailing everything out and AOI plaques and all the other stuff we do. Um, and so, um, you know, the challenges are, you know, at first reaching out to sponsors. How do you how do you reach out? Like, I never. I never talked to a tournament director and said, Hey, how are you getting these sponsors? You know, I kind of figured it out on my own, but that was good and bad one because not that I was at, like, I guess at first I, I was asking, right. I didn't real uh, like, not that I didn't realize, but uh, I, it was more like, not what can we do for you? It was more like, what can you do for us? Like this is before Slay Nation. Right. So I learned how to be a better communicator. Right. And how to have it create a real partnership. Right. Um, so that was one I learned and I, I got really good at it, at, you know, I'm not saying I'm the best, but I've, I've got much better at being able to, um, describe and bring value to Slay Nation and what we're trying to do, uh, to a company that might be trying to grow or hit a different demographic they're not currently in. Um, so I've learned a big time through that, you know, plenty of times I fell on my face. Um, also like, you know, directors, like how to, you know, our first year or two. Uh, our first season, like educating directors, like how to really run it. We had some things in place, but I didn't, I wasn't on top of it as much, right? Because I was kind of overwhelmed, to be honest with you. You know, our first year we were in seven states and we, I just thought it was going to be in Connecticut and Mass. And it was how to, you know, the scalability was, I didn't have any systems in place to train people really, right? We just said, hey, I'll send you prize packs. Here's what we're going to be doing with the membership money. I'll mail everything out to you. And then we learned from there to do check-ins. We do a whole directors only group on Facebook where they, we do videos, Q and A's. I have all these um, documents that I forward to them that they print and put them in their binder. We were making director binders last year and mail them to them. Uh, so it's more of how to educate tournament directors on how to one, follow our formula, but two, how to make it um, a, a great experience for their slayers, right? Being a good organizer, being responsible, being a great communicator, like email is king, emailing information, keeping uh, track of your AOI standings and, and sending it out to the group after each event so they know where they stand, um, how to build excitement for a tournament. So 
Uh, we've definitely come a long way with that. And that's why, you know, I'm not afraid to take on 30 plus directors that we have now, because I know we have these things in place to help um, hopefully make everybody feel successful. Okay. Yeah. Now, is, um, I see, is the Renegades part of Slay Nation? Renegades is not part of Slay Nation. Renegades is a sponsor, but I'm the owner of the, okay. the Connecticut Renegades. That's right, baby. The KFL. We're excited, man. I, so when I saw last year, because I've always wanted to kind of, you know, I've been kayak fishing for a long time, like long yeah, I mean, time. Yeah, right? we've talked about it. Long time on my little, little ass kayak back in the day. And, um, but I'm always heavily integrated. I'm always watching, I'm in all the forums and this and that. And, uh, and I saw the KFL and I know Greg and competed in some KBBT stuff, right. Uh, in the past years. And I was like, Connecticut is never represented in these kayak, like in Connecticut, there, a lot of the kayak anglers do not follow these national trails, right. There's kayak anglers in Connecticut, but, um, we don't have any huge clubs, Right. There's no huge clubs. You don't hear about 50, 60, 70 members, you know, opens fishing these events here. Uh, there's a few reasons why, because of our uh, permit issues here. But this is um, the same thing in Illinois. Yeah, it's crazy. We're only, we're only allowed 50 people on the water. Yeah. Yeah. For, that's how for it's a tournament. Similar, it's similar to Connecticut. And so, um, you know, I'm like, I'm like, Connecticut's never represented. And we got some good. And there's a few anglers that I know that travel fish KBF. I've won some events, you know, regionally. And, um, I'm like, we got to get in the map here. So I reached out to KFL and I said, hey, what do we got to do to start a team? And so I started a team and I did not want to fish. I wanted to be the owner. I wanted to take care of all the, the back end stuff and let our anglers concentrate on the games. And, uh, and that's what we got. You know, we got a bunch of a great crew. I'm really excited. We put together all sponsors from Connecticut. Um so like the, we, I wanted to make it like a true state team, right? I didn't want yet. Could we get nas, nationwide sponsors? Absolutely. With my connections with Sly Nation, I could. Uh, you know, OCC Outdoors and Coffee Company that is the only sponsor that is outside of Connecticut. Uh, everybody else is in Connecticut, and um, yeah, man. So we're we're really excited for that. Yeah, that sounds so. So you won't be fishing the event. Will you no. be at the events? Um, I won't. I'll be at some when I can, right? Like show up, meet the, you know, yeah. meet the other team. Like, well, you know, I got some few ideas I'd like to do when a, when a team travels to Connecticut and, you know, maybe put together some swag bags or something. You know, I got a few ideas um, to, you know, do a homecoming and just, you know, build that relationship with the teams in our, in our division or conference. Um, but I, I won't be there because some of the dates are on Slay Nation tournaments, right? Where I direct, um, and I also, you know, one of our um, one of our sponsors is a brewery, and which is close to me. So any of the teammates that aren't competing in that in the game, you know, I want to meet and do like you know uh, meet at the brewery and watch the game on Roku TV, you know, uh, while being at one of our sponsors. And so, uh, you know, we're gonna see how that works out. Yeah. So we got about seven eight minutes left here. Um, I wanted to ask a question that's off the mindset topic, but you just mentioned it. So you're going to be able to watch the events live then? The yeah. Yeah. The KFL live streams them on Roku TV. They have their own motion sports network. They have their own app and everything. Um, nice. and they, they, yeah, they live, stream. you know, it's the anglers using their phones, but they live stream every game. They go live. They, you know, they did that last year with, um, pride outdoor network. I think it was called. And, uh, yeah, they got a decent amount of views, man, for a brand new organization on uh, trying some live stream stuff. Yeah, I need to look more into it, man. Is there anything that I haven't hit on that you'd want to hit on? That's uh, outside. I mean, nothing, nothing crazy, you know. I'll, 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 I'll you know, I, I go off of you, Chris, and and then I will <laughs> say when we end it, uh, I would love to do some sponsor shout outs. Um, that would be terrific, and I'll make it quick. I won't do a long one. Uh, it's a big list, but I want to make sure I want to make sure I represent. <laughs> yeah, I understand. That's no problem at all. Um, my last question then would probably be, uh, what's what's goals for twenty twenty two? The goal for twenty twenty two is um, to have every director that's on right now to have functioning trails, right? Because you get when you get a new director in a new area, right? 
it's not guaranteed they're going to have members, right? They're new kid on the block, uh, you know, for whatever variables happen, they might not get anybody. So we've had that in the past and, and it's like, it's expected. Like if you have 35 directors on board, it's always expected that three or four either are going to, before the season have to drop out because of work, life, something like I just had, I just two directors. I just had drop off because one, uh, fiance is relocating for work, so he's not going to do it, but he might look into it wherever they move. Um, and, uh, another director, same thing. He's another, he's located in uh, Ohio, actually. Um, uh, he's moving up North from Florida. And so, um, that's a mistake. I know, I know, I know. It must be a good job. Uh, it must be a good job then. It must be making that cheddar. But I was like, dude, you're moving from North Florida to where? Um, good luck. You know, he, he's not going to know what a small mouth is. Yeah. And, uh, and so, um, you know, so we want to make sure everybody feels successful. That's one. Two, we really want to make sure that all of our members uh, are really going to enjoy the, the member benefits package we're going to put together. You know, we have a, 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 we're going to do a nationwide online championship that all members can qualify for by winning a, a Slay Nation event. That, that'll be interesting. And then three, we're going to try to do our first. Uh, big type of Slay Nation regional type event. It's going to be open to any Slay member, but it's going to be in the Northeast in New York somewhere where we're going to invite every all Slay Nation members and do like a three day thing in August uh, where, you know, I'd like to get sponsors there, um, you know, do a dinner, drink, do a big bass tournament. Sunday, we do a, a whole Slay Nation uh, tournament. Um, so that'll be like our first ever big event where I got to actually plan some good shit out. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah, that's it. And, and to grow, man, our, our goal is to hit a thousand members this year. Um, and that's our ultimate goal. That's our target. You know, last year we had 700. So we really hope to uh, exceed that, you know, because that shows our growth each year. And, um, and we'll see what happens, man. Yeah, that, I mean, that's good. It's, it's, it's good goals and it's achievable goals, you know. Yeah, well, well it's achievable as long as you put your head down, right? And at yep. least. You know, and when 20, when, you know, it's New Year's Eve 2022, as long as we can look back and say, all right, we, we did our best, you know, that's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Um, you could name all the sponsors now. All right, baby. Here we go. Look, here, literally, I carry the sheet whenever I go on a podcast. I have to, because I, I can't remember them all. You know, I could probably remember, like, you know, off the top of my head, you know, 90%, but I don't want to forget anybody. Um, oh, yeah. All right. So, uh, so first off, let's, I want to thank you, Chris, for having me on, man. You know, oh, no obviously, I appreciate you coming on. Yeah, dude. You know, you're a great guy and you're also a outdoors and coffee ambassador. Absolutely. Um, you do a great job with that. So we greatly appreciate it, man. Lo I, you know, one, I've always paddle and fin as a close place to my heart. Cause that was the very first podcast that ever had Slay Nation on. And that was with, you know, back in the day, that was with Dan Perry and Sam Jones. Um, oh, yeah. and that was back in the day. And that was the very first podcast I ever been. I was nervous as hell. Um, and, uh, so, uh, you know, love paddle and Finn, Brian Schiller and everybody. Um, so thank you. Now we have six title sponsors for 2022 Slay Nation. We have monster bass company, wicked weights, hook set hoodlums, which I'm, I'm rocking right now. Um, the apparel company out of Connecticut, uh, sticks fishing. All right. Rod company out of California. When you think of golf clubs, right, that's what their their, their set of six rods is like. Multifunctional, yep. right, awesome stuff. Um, yeah, Brandon, I heard about them. Yeah, sticks is cool, man. Nick the Informative Fisherman, Travis Moran, they got some really cool stuff. We have a cool incentive that we're trying to do, too, where if a Slay Nation member owns a set of sticks rods and they finish in the top five in any Slay Nation event across the year, um, you know, you get a, a $50 or 50% uh, gift card voucher. Um, and that's in every event. So we're going to, we're trying to work on something like that. So it's really cool. Viking eyewear, Robo Hawk, the bass juice, outdoorsman coffee. All right. You go use Chris's code. Go use Chris's yep. code. Give him some credit. 15. That's right. Yep. Slip the 15, baby. Uh, Onyx outdoors, Harmony fishing, Keck baits, Martin's custom baits, Riverwise fishing, line cutters, Zico's. Don't be a geek, yo. Get some Zico's. And if you want to save 30% on some phenomenal water shoes, Listen, these shoes, like think of Crocs, right? Extremely light, extremely comfortable, great for your lower lumbar, your back, when you're standing up. That's why nurses and doctors then wear them. 
Um, they're five and a half ounces, okay, as a shoe. That's extremely light. It has a self-draining mesh system, right? So any, like, debris, sand goes right through the bottom. Or if you're walking through a stream or something or you're at the beach, um, you know, you take the insole out. You can wash it in case it gets smelly. Um, it has a really strong Velcro th- system that, like, you know, some Velcro, like, wears over time. I have a pair of Zikos that are four years old. I mean, it's, it's, the Velcro is, like, brand new. They don't slip off my feet. Um, so you can use CT Zico Team, 30% off. CT Zico Team, all caps. And they have women's shoes. They have kids' shoes, all colors. Like, it's great for, like, washing your car, going to the amusement park, a water park. Like, it's not just for fishing. Um, what do we got here? P-Line. Veterans Fishing, uh, Euro Tackle, the Bass University. We're partnering with the Bass U, right? Um, I was happy enough or proud enough to be. That's with, a um, big one. Yeah, it's a big yeah. one. We're partnering with them. I was on their show, uh, what, two weeks ago, three weeks ago? We were talking I know, about I've them. seen that. Oh, you saw that? Yeah. Sweet, dude. Yeah, those are, those are my boys over there, man. They take care of us. Um, so we got some cool incentives with them. Uh, Bounty Hunter. Uh, the outdoor, the uh, American Outdoors uh, channel, Tiny Boat Nation is our official title sponsor for um, our horsepower series. Kayak Cushion, Grey Goat Lures, Omnia Fishing, Z Bay Company, Naughty Fish Outfitters, Stretching Lines Angler Gear. Stretching Lines Angler Gear is making our slay na- our custom slay nation jig. I actually I, I created a custom slay nation jig. All members are going to get it as part of their membership this year. Um, tourney tag, love Bill Rodriguez. Get yourself a tourney tag. Savior oh, Outdoors, absolutely. yep, a dose of real cat three tackle, Poe Bass, and our Georgia Fishing Club Ike Live Show. We're partners with the Ike Live Show. We'll be rocking their logo on the back of our jersey this year. Heat your meat, okay? Heat your meat seasonings. I right? think of seasonings, everything bagel seasoning. It's got a, it, you know, they're, they're, they got some heat to it, right? But if you get anything, any of their bottles on their website, heatyourmeat.net, the green bottles means mild, so it's not too hot. The red is their regular Andy's famous. Okay. It's a little hotter. Um, but check it out. They got rubs, you know, I know all outdoorsmen love to barbecue, grill, smoke, whatever it is. Check it out. Mm-hmm. It's not just for that. You could get pickling kits. If you like to pickle anything, uh, you can use their seasonings. If you like, you know, making, um, you know, um, uh, bloody Mary's, you know, a lot of people put the seasoning in the bloody Mary. Uh, it's a great stuff. You can use our, uh, I, I have a 20%. I have a code and I forgot it. I just, oh, hold on. Here's the code. I just got it today from them. Um, and I want to share this with you in case you want to use it, Chris, um, or any, any of your listeners here. So the code is, right, the code is Slay Nation, all capital letters, Slay Nation. What that does, it gets you 10% off all orders over $20. That's pretty good. Okay. So heatyourmeat.net. Uh, then we have Tourney X, Dwayne Wally. That's who we run with, baby. And uh, Fisher Dye Baits and Third Eye Fishing. All right. Lastly, I forgot to announce it. Brand, uh, brand new title sponsor out of Connecticut. Soft Plastic Company. Not even launched yet. I could say their name, but I can't show anything yet. Fuse Fishing. And I want you to think of Japanese domestic market style baits, but out of here. And these are all original baits. All their own molds. All that stuff. Um, well, you let me know when that comes. I will. I will. Public. I will. I'll let you know. I'll send you some packs. I'll send you a pack. I got a few of the prototypes. You'll like that. It. Sound, You'll that like sounds it. like me. You tell you tell me how you like to fish your style of fishing, and I have a bait for you. Like if you say finesse, I'll send you the finesse stuff. There Definitely. is one bait. There's one bait called a leech, and I don't want you to think of the regular leech that we're all typically used to, like a little yeah, yeah. drop shot looking thing. I'm telling you right now, this thing is freaking dope. Dope. And oh, the yeah. one that I have is like their uh you know version 1.0 they redid it um and their version their 2.0 version of it is even better than the first and the first one i saw i went out to a private luncheon with them and one of them showed it i was like guys not for nothing i didn't think your baits were gonna look like this and i and i'm pretty tough with baits like i'm very particular and i was like damn can i keep it <laughs> you know so i'll let you know brother but uh and that's it man and then thank you to all of our slay nation members uh thanks all the slayers baby all of our directors all of our partners and everybody that supports us like all of our friends here at the podcast and um uh, you know, so appreciate it buddy definitely i appreciate you coming on man thanks all right chris have a great one i'll talk to you soon baby yep you too all right, man. Peace. Thanks for tuning in to another killer episode on Paddle and Fin. 
Don't forget to go check out our website at Paddle, the letter N, and Finn.com. Don't forget to check out the YouTube channel at Paddle and Finn. If you got a question, comment, want to hear from a future guest on a future episode, feel free to email us at Paddle, the letter N, and Finn at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media at Paddle and Finn on Facebook and Instagram. Shout out to our show supporters, Angler. The Angler button and app just makes for a better time on the water and creates a virtual logbook for every fishing outing out on the water. Shout out to Rocktown Adventures, located in Northern Illinois, for all your kayaking, camping, and hiking needs. Shout out to Jigmasters Jigs. When in doubt, get the jig out. Go to jigmasters.com 